the judiciary's new leadership took oath of office at a scientific function at Entebbe. The Chief Justice Alfonso Winyidolo and his deputy Richard Butera were appointed last month after the retirement of Bad Katrebe in June. I, Alfonso Chigamoy Owindolo, I will preserve, protect and defend the Constitution. So help me God. The duo know that their biggest task will be dealing with case backlog, with thousands of case files spending decades making their way through the court system without hearing. We are going through a very, uh, well, I wouldn't say difficult, but it is a testing time. You need a strong judiciary that can dispense justice timely. And the Chief Justice made it known that clearing this backlog will be his priority. How can the Chief Justice ensure that there is speedy, timely rendering of justice when one judge has to look after 4,000 files? So my immediate appeal to you, Your Excellency, as head of this country and head of government, is that we must and immediately do something. There is, in the region of two to three trillion shillings tied up in the commercial court of Uganda, commercial division. Your Excellency, you can imagine what these two to three trillion shillings would do to the economy of Uganda if they were released tomorrow. However, the president threw back the blame to parliament, citing bad prioritization. He pointed to sectoral pressures to increase salaries, creation of new administrative units, and unnecessary travels. You know why we don't have enough judges? It is because of bad prioritization against my advice, against what I, I, I tell you and I, and I have written. So we, we, are, we, we are happy that we have a few people from the political class here because they are the main culprits now. They are the ones really causing the uh, uh, disequilibrium. And uh, I hope uh, in, the, in the coming uh, government, this mis misdirection will result. Travel, travel, travel abroad. Museveni also fell back to what has now become his pet song, complaints over police bond and court bail for capital offences. This, he argues, discredits the credibility of justice in Uganda. The, the, the dog that steals pays with its back. They don't understand the concept of saying that somebody can do wrong, then he comes back, then he is what, then he, he, he will be tried. Uh, it's, it's really discrediting. So this police bond is, is very dangerous for... Uh, for, 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 for the credibility of the judicial system. The presumption of innocence is a legal right for the accused in a criminal trial and an international human right under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights to which Uganda is signatory. Edward Mhumza, NTV.